Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to cover a few questions today off the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB. Now remember, the mathematical knowledge portion is not so much word problems as it is straight mathematical content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So in terms of triangles, you have three major types. You have scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. Scalene means that all three sides are different lengths. Isosceles means that two of them are the same length, and equilateral means all three are the same length. So in this case, we're looking for one that has two equal sides. So when we're looking at here, it says no equal sides, two equal angles, no acute angles, and no, or in two obtuse angles. So none of those say two equal sides. But because we have a triangle that has two equal sides, something states that because these two side lengths are the same, it will actually make these two angles the same as well, meaning that B is actually also true. So for number 12, it says that the side of an equilateral triangle is 20 centimeters. It then says, what's the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is when you add all the sides up. And if it's equilateral, that means that all three of the sides are the same length. So if this is 20, this is 20, and this is 20. So really, we're just adding these three 20s together or multiplying by three, which is going to give us a final answer of C, 60 centimeters. So in 13, it says that we have a rectangle and the area of that rectangle is 144 square inches. If the length of that rectangle is 16, then what's the width? Well, if you're looking at a rectangle, you always do length times width to get this answer. So that means we're looking for the number that when we multiply this number by 16, it will give me 144. Well, 144 divided by 16, the opposite operation, is just nine. So that means that 16 times nine would give me this answer, which is option C. Number 14 is all about knowing your formulas. So in this case, it says the circumference of a circle is equal to 10 pi centimeters. Its radius is what? Well, the actual equation for circumference is pi times your diameter. So in this case, that means that that answer is going to be 10 pi. So that means pi is here, so d must be 10. So diameter is the full length of a circle here through the middle. And the radius, what we're looking for, is just half of that. So what's half of 10? It's going to be 5. So our final answer here is C. How much will it cost to paint a circular patio of radius 7 millimeters if the cost of the paint per square meter is $2? Well, let's go ahead and talk. So it says that we have a circular patio with a radius of 7. Well, we're looking at area here, and area is pi r squared. Well, in this case, r is 7, they told us, so that means 7 squared is going to give me 49. Now, don't forget, we still have to multiply that by the pi right here. So that's essentially 3.14. We'll see if we get there at the end. So if I do 49 times 2, that's going to give me about $100 because of 50. And then we have to multiply that by 3. So that means we're looking at something that's a little bit larger than 100 times 3. And that looks like the only possible answer would be A. A rectangular box has a length of 7 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a height of 2 feet. What is its volume? Well, this is a three-dimensional shape, and when you have that with a rectangle, you just do the length times width times height. So we just need to multiply these three numbers together. Well, 7 times 3 is 21, times another 2 is going to give us 42. Notice how 42 is on here twice, because they want to see if you know that volume is always a unit cubed, whereas area is a unit squared. So in this case, we want the unit cubed because we're dealing with volume, so our answer is B. Well, that's all for today, guys. So go ahead and hit that like button below if you found any use in this content. And remember, if you want to see other things like this, go ahead and check out the videos over here, and they'll help you practice for your next attempt at the ASVAB. Good luck, and I hope you have a wonderful day.